What's up, YouTube? This is Mouthwoods97, and welcome to episode number 48 of my WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. We're here with Monday Night Raw, so without further delay, let's take a look at the match cards. We've got Emma with Paige in her corner taking on Naomi, who will have Cameron in her corner, so a bit of a revenge match for what went down last week on Raw. Adam Rose defeats Heath Slater, so Adam Rose, he's back. He has made his return to Universe Mode after his uh, several month absence. Damien Sandow knocks off Booker T. Swiss Thunder defeat the team of Big Show and Kane. So that's a big victory for our United States Champion and of course for Rob Van Dam. The number one contender for the US title, Alberto Del Rio, will go one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And in the main event, Edge and the World Heavyweight Champion Christian will unite. They will join forces to take on The Shield, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins as The Shield prepares for their tag team matchup with the Wyatt family at Extreme Rules. But it's time that we move on to our first matchup of the evening. As we can see, making her way down to the ring, it is Emma. And of course, Emma, we know last week she defeated Cameron in a one-on-one -on -one matchup in her singles debut. However, Naomi seemed pretty keen on getting involved in the matchup, whether it was just hopping up on the apron or blatantly attacking Emma. But the referee never called a disqualification, which was a, a bit odd. There was some blatant interference there from Naomi, but in the end, Emma still went on to win the matchup against Cameron. But that has sparked this matchup here tonight. So Emma, she's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Naomi here tonight on Raw to kick off the show. <clears throat> so Emma, she's going to be looking for a bit of redemption after Naomi's attack last week. But Naomi, on the other hand, you got to take a look at the position the Funkadactyls are in right now. Ever since they debuted, they haven't been that impressive. They've really been on quite the losing streak. I mean, they had that... Rivalry with the Bella Twins, they had a series of matches against them and they were back and forth, but after that they just kind of fizzled out. I mean, they never really made too huge of an impression on the Raw roster. Well, not, not the Raw roster, just in the WWE. So this could be an opportunity where Naomi, she wants to make an example out of Emma, try to get the Funkadactyls back on the map here in the Divas division. And especially now that the Divas Championship scene is really open that anybody could potentially challenge for that title. This would be a good opportunity for Naomi and Cameron to try to uh, make themselves stand out in that Divas division. Whereas you take a look at Emma, she's just coming off her first in-ring victory. So she's going to look to try to follow that up here tonight against Naomi. Try to get another victory to kind of boost herself as she progresses in her career. Nice drop kick to the back of Naomi. And of course Paige watching at ringside. I'm sure if anything goes down here, Paige is she will not hesitate to step in that ring and you know save her friend Emma from a potential two-on-one assault. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what just happened with my throat there. Um, but Paige, she's there to if Cameron tries to get involved, try to make this a handicap match, well then Paige, she will not hesitate to step in that ring and break things up. Look at Naomi here. Naomi with a Bronco Buster there to Emma. As Naomi trying to take control in this matchup. Cameron, of course, they're watching at ringside. I don't know if Cameron's going to get quite as involved as Naomi did last week. I think the referee, if that happens this time, I think the referee is going to do a bit more to try to keep this matchup. You know, keep it fair and square, one on one. I don't, I don't really know what the referee was thinking. Not calling disqualification. I don't know if he was just trying to, uh, if he was taking Emma's. Like, I don't know. Was did he figure he wanted Emma to? I mean, it was her debut. Did he want her to try to uh, make her points? I, I don't. I really don't know what the referee was thinking last week. But this week, you would have to assume that if Cameron gets involved, I mean, especially after what happened last week. You know, tensions this week would definitely kind of boil over, and we have a potential brawl ensuing should that happen. So, 
I don't think the referee is going to be as lenient this week. Look at Naomi, though. Look at this. Head scissor takedown right there to Emma as Naomi. She's gained firm control in this matchup. Emma, she's not looking too good. She's in trouble. Oh, Naomi was looking for a big kick. And now look at this Hurricanrana by Emma taking down Naomi. And now Emma. Well, she's looking pretty confident right there. She's just waiting for Naomi to get to her feet. Look at Emma. She's going for that vertical suplex right there, taking down Naomi. As Emma now. She's got her. Oh, she's got the head scissors right there now. Oh, elbow right to the top of the head of Naomi. <clears throat> and now Emma. She's going up to the top rope. What could she be thinking here? Crossbody. Crossbody off the top rope by Naomi. Or to Naomi. One, two, three. Emma defeats Naomi here tonight with that beautiful crossbody off the top rope. Let's get an instant replay of that. Just look at that beautiful form there by Emma. She hit the crossbody, and that was all she wrote for Naomi. And Emma, she's now 2-0 here in the WWE. She's got the victory over Cameron, and now a win over Naomi. So Emma, she can continue riding her mo debut momentum. She continues on her hot streak. So perhaps Emma could be a future contender for the Divas Championship, and perhaps maybe even sooner than we think. But now we're going to move on to the next matchup on the card, as it's the number one contender for Cesaro's United States Championship, the former United States Champion, Alberto Del Rio. And we do know that Del Rio's been... He's been getting involved with the world champion Christian as of late. Last week on Raw, he did score a victory over Christian, although he did get pinned on main events in that triple threat match, which also included Mark Henry. I really don't know what was going on with that whole situation. That was just kind of a weird development that went down there, but I think it's all over now. As we can see, Cesaro, he's making his way down to ringside. He's going to be a spectator during this contest. He just wants to scout out the competition and we do know that uh, Del Rio he has beaten Cesaro once before in the past if you can recall back to Elimination Chamber where Del Rio did defeat Cesaro so right now they're even at one apiece so really I don't know I don't know who to expect to win at Extreme Rules I mean Del Rio has beaten Cesaro once before Cesaro's beaten Del Rio once before and I think at this point Del Rio, he's going to be much more aggressive than he was at WrestleMania because it's different. If you're the champion, you know, you've got that confidence. You know that, you know, you've, you, I guess you could say you've got everything to lose at that point, whereas the champ or the challenger has nothing to lose and everything to gain. But when you're the challenger and you're trying to capture that championship, you really just kind of have that extra drive to really go after the champion and try to take... Uh, take go on the offensive early whereas if you're the champion you know you've got that confidence that you've already done it you're the man now and your goal is then to try to maintain your spot as the man oh our truth was going for a drop kick there but del rio was able to avoid it and now oh what a hip toss right there by truth taking down del rio and with our truth i mean he did just recently team up with the miz Back at Elimination Chamber, they did form the tag team known as Awesome Truth. So lately, they haven't been, they haven't really been teaming up as of late. They've been competing in singles matches, but our Truth definitely, he's managed to get himself on the show, and he's managed to kind of throw Awesome Truth's name out there a little bit. I mean, any TV time is good TV time. So I mean, our Truth has done that. He's at this point in his career where really he wasn't doing much else to begin with at this point. He was kind of struggling. Same goes with The Miz. So, I mean, whatever whatever these two can do to try to get themselves featured, perhaps get a potential tag team title opportunity, well then, the more power to him. But our truth off that nice face buster. He's looking to deliver that fancy leg drop across the chest of Del Rio. And another one for good measure. And especially here tonight, if R-Truth can manage to knock off the former United States champion, not only is that going to put in a good word for Austin Truth, but R-Truth himself could perhaps move up the totem pole in the United States championship ranking. So 
that definitely is a benefit to defeating the former champion here tonight. Kind of showcase your own abilities, show how much Truth has progressed since making his return from injury back at well, back prior to Survivor Series. As now Del Rio, he has regained control in this one off that arm breaker. As now it looks like he's going to throw Truth into the corner, set him up for that Inzaguri to the back of the head. As Del Rio now dragging Truth to the center of the ring. He's going to go for the cover. Could have Truth bit, beat right there. Two count, but a kick out by our Truth. Truth managing to stay alive in this one. But at the moment, it is advantage Del Rio as Truth goes over the top rope. Oh, and Del Rio, he's going to set him up for those elbow shots to the kidneys of our Truth. And that's going to measure him for the backstabber through the ropes. Alberto Del Rio in firm control here. Our truth he's got to do something quick. He's got to pull out one of his big moves. Otherwise, this could be all downhill from here. As Del Rio drags Truth to the center of the ring. And delivers another kick right to the back of our truth Del Rio, of course, infamous for those kicks of his. Those powerful kicks that can give you a concussion if you're not careful. As now Del Rio. Oh, Del Rio. He's going for the cross arm breaker. And he's got it applied. Our truth he's in trouble. Could be on the verge of submitting here as Del Rio really got that cross arm bar locked in. Truth, he's not going to be able to get to the ropes. Can he somehow manage to slip out of this one? And yes, that's exactly what he does. Del Rio didn't quite have it applied to its full effect and our truth was able to capitalize on that, able to slip out of it. Keep himself alive in the matchup, but he's not going to get a second chance if he gets in that cross arm breaker again. That's going to be it for our truth so he's got to finish this thing off now. He's got to do something quick. And look at this. Oh, he's got Del Rio up for that truth or consequences, that suplex stunner. One, two, no, kick out by Del Rio at two and a half. But truth, he, he was close there. He almost had him. Oh, but look at that. Our truth was going for the little Jimmy. And Del Rio just caught him with that drop toe hold. And the our truth just bouncing off that bottom turnbuckle face first. And now. Truth, he's in a whole lot of trouble. He's just barely clinging on to his life here as Del Rio throws him into the corner. And Del Rio, you know, he smells blood. And now he's just going in for the kill as he's got the boot right to the chin there of our truth And now Del Rio, he's looking to finish Truth off for good. He's going to go for that cross arm breaker yet again. And that's exactly what he does. He's got it locked in. And Truth is in trouble. Can he get out of this one? No, he cannot. You're lucky enough to get out of the cross arm breaker once, but if it gets locked in a second time, you're done. You, you don't stand a chance. And that's what our truth fell victim to here tonight. You can see the first time Del Rio, he didn't really, he didn't really have it applied to its full force. But then the second time, second time around, he locked it in, and truth, he wasn't getting out of that one. So that's a victory for Alberto Del Rio as he continues to try to build himself some momentum heading into the Extreme Rules pay-per-view to the title match against Cesaro. So this is a nice confidence booster for Del Rio. After coming off that triple threat loss on main event, Del Rio, he gets a win and he's able to get himself back in good standing in the United States Championship title picture. Whoa, 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 calm down, man. I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to let you know that there's no hard feelings about what happened at WrestleMania. Heck, if I was in your place, I would have done the exact same thing. Well, that's reassuring. And coming from the man known as the Ultimate Opportunist, I should feel honored. I'm glad to hear we've still got each other's backs, even now on Raw. Yeah, man, I've always got your back. And I promise you, you and I will face off for that World Heavyweight Championship one day. You can count on that. But now we move on into tonight's main event as it is the Rated R Superstar Edge and the World Heavyweight Champion Captain Charisma Christian teaming up to take on The Shield 
Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. This is going to be possibly one of the biggest tag team matches in the history of Monday Night Raw as we've got the powerhouse of the Shield taking on the... You know, we have this friendship that is between Edge and Christian. Decades upon decades of unity between these two. One of them being the World Heavyweight Champion. And Edge, he's come extremely close to being the World Champion himself here in Universe Mode. So this is going to be a big matchup. I'm really looking forward to this one. You know, for the most part, tag team matches don't normally hold up very well in this game. And in previous games, really, I can't think of a, a game where tag team matches really could... I don't, I don't know if tag team matches ever really have been that spectacular in WWE games. I mean, it's very rare that a very good... Like, you can have a build-up behind something, but in execution, the tag team matches most of the time tend to fall flat. But I really think this matchup tonight has the potential to be a different type of tag team matchup. I really think that these two teams can put on one heck of a show, perhaps even steal the show here tonight. Uh, we're just going to have to wait to see how that how that plays out. As always, you know, it can have a good build-up, but in execution, uh, it's a bit questionable. So we'll see how that goes. But as so we can see, we've got The Shield, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. They're on the same page. So even though... Roman Reigns has just been drafted to SmackDown as of last week. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins still appear to be on the same page. The Shield still going strong despite losing one member. They're still a, they're still a formidable force. They're still a strong tag team. And, of course, they're getting prepared to face the Wyatt family, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, for the tag team titles at Extreme Rules. Of course, just coming out, uh, late last week that Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt have been banned from ringside for that tag team matchup. Not only that, but it will be an elimination tag team matchup. So that means that between Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose and the team of Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, it's not just going to come down to one pinfall. It's going to matter. You know, you have. It doesn't matter if you eliminate. I mean, you can get a lucky fall, but the match isn't over just by one pinfall. So, I mean, these, these two teams are going to have to have the determination, the endurance. You know, they've got to be able to keep themselves going through the entire matchup. Even if they can manage to eliminate one member of the Wyatt family, they're still going to have to eliminate the other. So, you know, they could go all out trying to eliminate one member of the tag team, and then the other one can just come back. You know, it's very rare that someone comes down from odds like that, two to one, but it is possible. And when you have the likes of the Wyatt family and the Shield, especially I would think more so on the Shield side of things, whereas, you know, the Wyatt family, like I said at WrestleMania, they're not as much of, a, of an equal unit, whereas Ambrose and Rollins, you know, I think they're about on, e on an equal playing field. Oh, nice forearm right there by Edge, but Ambrose, clothesline right there as he bounces back off the ropes takes Edge down, and now Ambrose, he's going to go for the cover, could have Edge done early here, but Edge able to kick out it to keep his team alive in this matchup. But as for the Wyatt family, between Harper and Rowan, I don't know, I don't know, we haven't really seen a whole lot, I mean, they have seen pretty, they have seemed to be, you know, in equal status, uh, but it is possible that, you know, if one of them were to get eliminated, one of them could stand out, I mean, that's when one team, when bleh, if I can even speak, when one superstar gets eliminated, then the other is definitely going to have an opportunity to stand out, and they're going to have to, they're going to have to overcome some insurmountable odds if they want to have any chance of getting their team the victory, getting their team the tag team titles. And it's amazing that throughout the Shield's reign of dominance, they have never captured the tag team titles. That's something that has just eluded them. It really hasn't been their main focal point since they joined the series, since they came onto the roster. They really haven't gone after the championship gold. So this could just be the time. It could be the right time, the right place for the Shield to finally capture the tag team titles. But then again, the Wyatt family, they've held the titles since No Way Out, so that's going to be it's going to be interesting to say the least. 
And we take a look at Edge and Christian. Christian, of course, he's set to defend his World Heavyweight Championship at Extreme Rules against Dolph Ziggler, the show-off. And Edge, of course, we saw earlier on when they met backstage. Edge, he's still determined to get that World Heavyweight Championship match against Christian one day. So it's gonna be, we're just going to have to wait and see when that matchup is going to take place. Christian, though, a win here tonight could definitely help boost his momentum heading into his title defense at Extreme Rules. And Edge getting a victory over the Shield It's just going to help boost his contendership. Perhaps at Payback, we could see Christian and Edge. Well, not Payback. Actually, this is a good point. So, after Extreme Rules, it was initially going to be the Payback pay-per-view, but with um, the way I wanted to set things up, because I don't do the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view just because I feel like the Hell in the Cell gimmick isn't really meant to be a gimmick pay-per-view. It's a match that should really be saved for certain, uh, certain rivalries and whatnot, whenever it applies. So last year, I did the No Way Out pay-per-view, which basically was... Hell in the Cell. Anyway, but this year it's going to be different. So I have to make room to be able to replace Hell in the Cell with something else. And at the moment, since I don't know what pay-per-views are going to be in WWE 2K16, whether there will even be an extra pay-per-view arena for me to use, I have decided to go with a bit of a callback to last year's Universe Mode. We're going with Over the Limit for the May pay-per-view. So following Extreme Rules, it's going to be Over the Limit. So... Not Payback. Payback will be the next pay-per-view after that. But over the limits, we could perhaps see Christian and Edge face off. And now as we can see here, Seth Rollins with a nice neck breaker there, taking down Christian. As right now, it's kind of back and forth. Christian is, he's ended this match up. He's starting to get his team some offense, but Seth Rollins looking to thwart that right here as he takes Christian down with a nice vertical suplex. As Rollins now counter by Christian, and he pulls him back, but there's a kick to the gut right there by Rollins. And now Christian, he's going to toss Seth Rollins over there into his corner, but Rollins able to sidestep the drop kick, and now he sweeps out the leg of Christian right there. It's Christian, he was pulling back for a huge punch, but Rollins, ever the opportunist, he was able to, you know, catch Christian off guard, sweep out the legs, and regain control, but now Christian, he's trying to regain control here. He's up on that second rope. Look at this. Springboard, sunset flip, and he goes into the cover. What? Not even a one count kick out by Rollins fairly quickly. Rollins not wanting to show any sign of weakness for his team. Oh, but Christian now just slapping Rollins in the face there. Well, Christian, he may be new to the Raw roster, but he certainly isn't shy of confidence as he immediately just letting everybody know that Christian is the top dog as he's got that World Heavyweight Championship. Cover here by Christian. Rollins, though, able to reverse it. One. And now Christian with a reversal. That's a one. But a kick out by Rollins before a two count. This is just back and forth now. Nice swinging neck breaker there by Christian as he's starting to gain the advantage here. As he's got Rollins from behind. He's going to set him up for what looks like a nice side suplex right there. Dropping Rollins right down onto the mat. Christian now. Picking Rollins back up to his feet. What's he thinking here? Maybe gonna. Oh, pulls him back. Oh, counter by Rollins into a belly to belly suplex. As down goes Captain Charisma. His advantage shield once again here. And Rollins, he's gonna toss Christian into the corner. And this is not where Christian wants to be. This is the last place he wants to be. As. Oh, Ambrose. Oh, they're going for this combination here. Elbow to the face by Ambrose. And now a springboard elbow drop. And that could put Christian away. Dean Ambrose, he hooks the leg on Christian. This could be it. Two. Kick out by Christian at the last second. Just barely Christian able to hang on by a thread. But still, he's not looking too good at the moment. As Dean Ambrose, he's got the obvious advantage after that tag team maneuver. That's going to take a lot out of Christian. And Dean Ambrose, now's his time to capitalize. As he hooks both arms. Nice suplex right there by Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose, he's got control. He needs to finish off Christian quickly, not give Christian the chance to counter, which he does, and he takes down Ambrose. And now Christian, if he can just make a tag to Edge. Now he's going to the top rope. Christian going high risk here. He's looking to put it all on the line to take out Dean Ambrose. Drop kick off the top rope as Christian takes down Ambrose, looking to fire up a second wind here, perhaps. And he's measuring Dean. He's going to set him up. Reverse DDT right there by Christian. And Ambrose, now he's the one who's got to go on defense. 
as it's advantage Christian right here. And he's picking Dean up. Look at this. Oh, planting him face first into the mat with an inverted suplex. And Christian, I think he was going for the spear there, but he gave Ambrose too much time to breathe. And now Seth Rollins enters the match. Uppercut to Christian. And now he's going after Edge as he takes him down off the apron right there. And here's Seth Rollins picking Christian up for a side suplex of his own. And now he's going to go for the cover. Edge is down. This could be the opportunity for the Shield to strike. But a kick out by Christian at two once again. Just barely able to stay alive in this one. And now Seth Rollins. He's got the upper hand on Christian. But Christian able to get back into it fairly quickly. Able to recompose himself before, before the situation got too dire, too disastrous. And now he's got Seth Rollins hung up in the tree of woe here. This is not where Rollins wants to be. Christian now just driving the boot right into the face of Seth Rollins. And the architect of the shield, well, he's getting deconstructed right now. Wait, counter, side rush and leg sweep by Rollins as he's able to, nice moonsault right there as he's able to deconstruct Christian's offensive attack there. Cover again, kick out again by Christian. And now Ambrose into the ring, taking a cheap shot at Christian. And now Rollins just stomping on the arm of the World Heavyweight Champion. Could have perhaps been going to the corner try to set up Christian up for that super kick. But Christian, he sensed it was coming and he made it back to his feet. And now Seth Rollins is gonna pick Christian up. Falcon Arrow right there. That suplex into that mat slam. As here's Seth Rollins. That was a huge move. It's gonna take a lot out of Christian. Oh, and now Christian, he's caught in the corner. Seth Rollins, oh, no, he's gonna hang him up in the tree of woe, so a bit of a bit of turnabout's fair play here for Captain Charisma as he's hung upside down. And once again, he finds himself in the shield's corner. Rope break there, Christian able to stay alive thanks to the ropes. But still, Christian, he's in the shield's corner, and that's the last place he wants to be. This time, though, he's able to counter, deliver a boot to the face of Seth Rollins. DDT right now as Seth Rollins face first spiked into the mat. As Rollins, he's trying to crawl back to his feet. Edge is finally tagged into this thing. And now it's time for the Rated R Superstar to get some offense in here. Oh, but Rollins tackling Christian off the apron there. Counted by Rollins now as he takes Edge down. Plants him face first with that arm breaker. And now Rollins. Oh, no. Edge is in trouble now, folks. Ambrose with a cheap shot. And now Edge back to a corner. Snapmare takedown by Seth Rollins. Ambrose off the ropes. Big boot to the face. And that could that could be it. Covered by Ambrose. One, two, not even a two count. Christian able to sneak in there and break that one up. But Dean Ambrose now not wasting any time. He wants to put Edge away quickly here. And Ambrose makes another tag. The Seth Rollins are going to go for that maneuver again. Snapmare into the kick by Rollins. And now Rollins, he's gonna go for the cover on Edge. Oh, Christian slips off the ropes. One kick out by Edge, though. Edge just, that was a close one. Christian, he wasn't gonna be able to get there to break it up, so he slipped off the rope. But luckily, Edge was able to kick out and stay alive. But Rollins now has Edge in the corner, countered by Edge. And this is Edge's moment to strike. He needs to come up with something big here. Oh, shoulder block. As for some reason, the game glitched and Edge has seen his comeback. I don't understand how that happened, but Edge, nonetheless, he is firing up a comeback. He's got his second wind here, and this this is his opportunity. It's now or never to finish off the shield. Execution DDT right there to Seth Rollins. And now Edge, he's going to the corner. He's thinking spear. You can hear, oh, wait, wait a minute. The referee got in the way. Edge delivering a bulldog to the referee. Well, way to go, Raph. Way to just screw Edge up there. And that, that was Edge's opportunity, and the referee just completely messed it up. And this is now, I mean, the Shield, they can't afford to give up this opportunity. They're going to go for it yet again. A third kick to the face. That's going to break Edge's jaw before too long. And now Ambrose. Now what? What more can the Shield possibly do to Edge? Oh, they're going to do it again. A second time. The fourth time in this matchup, another kick to the face. Covered by Rollins, one, two, three, and that is it, folks. Christian, I mean, Christian at that point, did he, what would really jumping in and saving Edge would have done at that point? I mean, at that point, Edge's health 
his well-being was at risk with the, those repeated kicks to the jaw. Edge could very well have a broken jaw after all that. It may have, at the very least, chipped a couple teeth. But nonetheless, I guess all it just took was if, it, if at first you don't succeed, just keep on trying. As that's what Rollins and Edge, or Rollins and Edge, what Rollins and Ambrose did, just kept kicking Edge in the face until finally they knocked him unconscious. Maybe broke his jaw. I don't know, whatever it takes to win. But that's it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until the next episode, keep on YouTubing.